What is up, my friends, and welcome back to the lounge. Glad to be here as always, and I hope you guys are doing good today. Um, I wanted to talk about something uh, because I've I've been seeing other people talk about it, and so I thought I'm just going to kind of put in my own little, uh, I guess, two cents, right? Um, that's all I got is two cents. I'm sorry. I don't got three. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of been, uh, I don't guess it's everywhere, but, um, I seen where people saying, look, who's back. Look, who's back. Charlie's back. Oh no. Oh no. Charlie's back. Um, I watched a few of his videos. I watched, you know, a lot of people leaving, you know, negative comments, um, living on the past, you know, something that. People seem to love to do, live on the past, dwell on the past. Uh, You know, I'm going to give my opinion on this. Now, have I said things about Charlie in the past? Yes, I have. Has Charlie said things about me? Sure he has. But I deserved it back then because I was running my mouth too. You know, um, again, admitting to your mistakes, admitting to your faults, I made my mistakes. I made my faults. But here's how I kind of look at it. Um, Bottom line, number one, is the past. It's done. It's over. There's no reason for Charlie or anyone else to be dwelling on that and to be you know, throwing that in his face. Oh, Charlie, you did this. Charlie, you did that. Charlie knows what Charlie did. Charlie knows what mistakes he made. Charlie knows the things he did wrong. Charlie knows what happened between him and Michael, between him and Bridget, between him and his mom, between him and his dad, between him and whoever. But at some point, you guys... You got to move on. You got to move on and just say, you know what? It's the past. And some people, you know, some people hold a grudge. I used to. I used to hold a grudge on everything when I was younger. I, I held a grudge on everything. But there's a point when you got to look at what's, you know, what's working, what's not. What are the good things about you? What are the things that you should change? And Charlie is back doing his own thing. Uh, At this point, I don't see him messing with anybody. I don't see him going back and saying, Michael, please take me back. Michael, please forgive me. Michael, please do this, do that. I don't see that. And I'm not saying that That's not happened, but I don't think it is because I don't think that Charlie is worried about trying to work his way back into Michael's life. Charlie wants to move on. Charlie wants to live Charlie's life. And let's face it, who are we to judge? There's only a few people that can even come close to judging anything to do with that. And it's not the viewers. Michael. Michael has a right to judge on what happened to him. Do I think Michael needs to find peace and move on and and just let it go? Yes. Do I think Michael's going to forgive him and bring him back in? No. But I also don't see Charlie asking for that. It's the family that can sit there and look back at it. Should they? No, but they have that right. They're family. And there's something else that you all need to remember. Key point. We only know what happened by what the media showed us. And that doesn't make Charlie a saint or Charlie an angel. But Charlie's moving on. 
And if he's back on YouTube, then he's back on YouTube. And you know what? For for that being said, I wish him the best of luck. I hope things work out for him. I do. Um, I you know I might not have agreed with how Charlie acted in the past, but it's done and over. And like I said, you know, well, I guess it could have been trolls too, but. You know, he said things to me, I said things about him. I should have never said anything. The only way we get better is by admitting to our mistakes and changing. That is the only way. It's the only kind of philosophy that makes sense. When you change the bad things about you, it can only get better. That's the reality of it. So, for that said, I'm saying to Charlie, welcome back. You know, we sit there and we talk about, uh, you know, raising awareness for bullying, raising awareness to, you know, uh, be there for victims and stuff like that. Who would we be if we sat there and started just saying all kinds of stuff about Charlie and picking on Charlie or... Whatever. So I can't do that. I had to live up to what I say that we are here at the lounge. We are forgiving. We are able to put things behind us and move on for the better. And I hope that every one of you can accept that. I hope that every one of you have them same beliefs, them same morals. Because I think it's a good thing. I really do. We're always talking about motivation, self-esteem, doing better. And I think that people just need to leave Charlie alone. Let him do what Charlie wants to do. If it's not hurting you, if it's not hurting Michael or any of them, why bother? Why bother with it? I understand there are some angry people. That are very angry. But it does no good to sit there and bring up about. Oh you're drinking. You're drinking. Or you're doing this. You're doing that. Who cares? It's the past. A past that needs to be put behind you. Unless you have something personal. That happened between you and Charlie. You should just let it all go. And just leave him alone. Let him go. You know, a long time ago, um, you know, Charlie did something for me he didn't have to do. And that was, you know, by giving us a shout out. You know, that was something that Charlie did he did not have to do, but he did it. And I'll always respect that part of everything. You know, I'll always respect him for that. It doesn't mean I respect everything he's ever done or agree on everything he's ever done. He knows what he's done. So for that said, I think we need to let Charlie do what he wants to do. And if he's trying to be a better person and changing his life for the better, then daggone it, that's that's okay. He's with someone that obviously loves and cares about him. And you know what? That's okay too because we all need someone that love us and care about us that are there for us. Just like all of us here at the lounge. We care about each other. We're there for each other. We support each other. So anyways, I wanted to do this real quick. Just kind of put my thoughts out there how I, you know, what I think about it. Um... I've seen a lot of bad comments going his way and hopefully he can just ignore all the the negative things and pay attention to what matters the most, the positive side of things. And again, this does not mean that I'm sitting here saying, Charlie, it's okay what you've said in the past, it's okay what you've done in the past, 
it's okay what happened between you and Michael or you and your father. I'm not saying none of that at all. But he done knows that. He don't need to be reminded. And that doesn't mean I'm telling people to run and grab his hand or kiss the top of his hand or, you know, give him a big hug or anything like that. Fine. I'm not telling anybody to do that. I'm not telling anybody to forgive him. I'm just saying, let it go. The dude's back. If he's not hurting anything, let it go. Welcome back to YouTube, Charlie. I wish you the best of luck. For everybody else, give us a thumbs up, will you? Hit that subscribe button. Join us here at the lounge where we are here to support each other and always raising awareness for bullying, for the victims that have been through bullying, and also just offering support to whoever needs it. Y'all take care. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you for being a part of the lounge. We really appreciate you. And we'll talk to you real soon.